Orthofix has enjoyed a proud history of success by providing both surgeons and patients with innovative solutions for trauma and spine fusion. The Orthofix Bone Growth Stimulator is simply one more way Orthofix continues improving the lives of people and patients around the world. Once a doctor prescribes an Orthofix Bone Growth Stimulator, the patient will be contacted by an Orthofix representative who will schedule an appointment with the patient, either at the doctor's office or the patient's home, to explain the benefits of the device, its operation, insurance requirements, and to ensure it is properly fitted. Hello? Hello, Mrs. Hammer. Yes. Hi, my name is Marty. I'm calling on behalf of Orthofix and Dr. Jones, who's prescribed for you a bone growth stimulator. Which Orthofix supplies? Yes. During this call, the representative will confirm the patient's primary and secondary insurance. The representative will let the patient know that Orthofix is in the process of seeking pre-approval and authorization from their insurance companies, and encourage the patient to call their insurance company with any questions about coverage. If the patient financial responsibility is known, the representative may provide the dollar amount that the patient is personally responsible for. In the event that the patient expresses an inability to cover personal responsibility, they should contact the Orthofix Patient Care Billing Specialist at 800-535-4492. Once the appointment is made, the Orthofix representative will arrive promptly on the scheduled day. Hi. Hi, I'm Marty with Orthofix. I'm here to instruct you in the use of the bone growth stimulator that Dr. Jones prescribed. Oh, okay, come on in. Before beginning, it's important for the Orthofix representative to confirm whether or not the patient has a pacemaker or defibrillator. If present, a consultation with the attending cardiologist is recommended. The representative will then explain that the bone growth stimulator that the patient's doctor prescribed is a medical device that has been clinically studied and FDA approved to increase the chances for healing non-union. The Orthofix representative will then explain that the device sends a signal between coils, called a PEMF, pulsed electromagnetic field, and that this signal increases bone formation at the non-union site, mineralization at the non-union site, and production of osteoblasts, the bone-growing cells at the non-union site. The representative will inform patients of the device wear time, which is three hours, every day until their doctor recommends that use be discontinued. The doctor will decide on the overall length of treatment in weeks or months based on a patient's healing progress. Patients do not have to wear the stimulator at the same time every day. However, it is important that patients wear the device for the fully prescribed amount of time every day to improve the chances of favorable results. The Orthofix representative will demonstrate the device's ease of use. They will show the patient how to start or stop a treatment by simply pressing the power button, the button with a circle and a line through it. Once the device is turned on, a sequence of status messages will be displayed. Then the LCD will show the treatment time remaining in hours and minutes, and a flashing logo will let them know that the device is treating them. The other button is for the backlight, which will light up the LCD in low light, making it easier to read the screen. The representative may also advise patients as to how they can break up their prescribed daily treatment into sessions. To do so, simply press the power button to stop a treatment, then resume treatment later in the day by pressing the power button again. Orthofix recommends that a treatment session be a minimum of 60 minutes to ensure that the device's internal clock properly track a patient's remaining treatment time. Treatment sessions lasting less than 60 minutes will not be logged on the treatment countdown timer. The device runs on a lithium-ion battery. The LCD displays the battery capacity, and the device will beep when the battery is low. The device comes with a charger. However, the device will not charge while in use, so representatives will advise patients to charge the unit every day after use. After this technical explanation, the representative will demonstrate how the device should be worn and ask that the patient wear the device. For physio-stim treatment of non-union fractures, the device's coils should be circumferentially strapped around the fracture. 
The sure fit cushion may be placed between the coils and the fracture site to ensure a desirable, comfortable fit. The LCD should be facing the front of the patient to ensure the patient can read the display panel and access the button controls. If a patient's doctor has prescribed casting, bracing, bandages, internal, external fixation, patients may wear the stimulator over these items as the stimulator's PEMF signal is designed to transmit through these items. Creating a window in the casts is not required. Patients can wear the device while sitting, standing, walking, or sleeping. The Orthofix representative will review the information located in the device box. This includes the instruction manual, the patient guide to insurance coverage for BGS and the AOB, plus ANN or ABN if applicable. The representative will have the patient sign the assignment of benefits form for Medicare and private insurance beneficiaries for the patient stimulator. The patient's signature on this form provides their insurance company with proof that they have received the bone growth stimulator and allows Orthofix to bill the insurance company. The representative will remind the patient that they are responsible for any amounts not covered by the patient's insurance. The AOB is long, but it is important that the patient reads it. If the patient is a Medicare beneficiary, they will note on the AOB that Medicare covers bone growth stimulators if they are purchased or rented. Patients may also contact their insurance provider regarding co-insurance amounts. Now, according to your policy, Mrs. Hammer, it appears you have a co-insurance. Now, should you have any questions about your financial responsibility, please contact your insurance provider. If the patient is a Medicare patient, it should be added that Medicare requires that suppliers of DME charge a copayment, which generally is 20%, but may vary if you have secondary insurance. The amount of the copayment also may vary depending whether the equipment is purchased or rented. Although Medicare covers STEM devices if they are purchased or rented, it is the policy of Orthofix to provide this item for purchase only. If you choose a STEM device from Orthofix, you will be responsible for the purchase copayment. If insurance denies coverage, the Orthofix representative will provide the patient with an advance beneficiary notice of non-coverage for Medicare beneficiaries, or an advance notice of non-coverage for patients with private insurance. If they receive this, it's because Orthofix believes that their insurer will not pay for the bone growth stimulator that has been prescribed for them. If they choose to receive the device, they may be personally responsible for the full cost. Again, they may contact their insurance company if they have any questions. Should a patient have questions about payment, they may contact Orthofix patient care billing specialists who will assist them if they are concerned about paying for their bone growth stimulator. The Orthofix representative may also call for the patient if requested to do so. In the unusual event that the patient or Orthofix representative cannot reach PCBS, the stimulation device will not be left with the patient until clarification to the questions at hand can be resolved. Prescribing doctors try to give patients every opportunity to heal properly and quickly. This device is chosen for certain patients because it gives them a greater chance for successful healing. Well, thank you, Mrs. Hammer, for allowing me to explain the benefits of our device. I wish you a speedy recovery. Here's my contact information should you have any questions. And also printed on the box are the website and customer service phone number should you have any other questions. Well, thank you. It's been very helpful. Thank you so much. Oh, great. Well, thank you so much. Thank you.